Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about causes of seizures in children. Seizures are a relatively common problem among children, and most of them are a result directly of fever. When a child between the ages of one and six has a fever and has a simple five minute long generalized seizure with shaking of the arms and legs, that's often a relatively normal effect of the fever. Now obviously it's very alarming, but when we say normal, we mean it doesn't tend to harm the child in any way. That said, there are certain features of seizures that are rather concerning to us. A child who doesn't have a fever at the time the seizure occurs. A fever that doesn't involve the entire body or only one part. A seizure where the child stares into space or seems unresponsive. Or a seizure occurring outside of those age ranges, greater than age six or under age one. We look for an awful lot of different causes of seizure because anything that impacts the brain may cause a seizure. One of the most obvious other causes is a severe infection like a meningitis or an infection of the brain itself. So if we see a very high fever with an unusual or prolonged seizure, we go looking for those things. Also, a blow to the head such as a concussion may result in a seizure. A child who becomes dehydrated or passes out for some reason may seize when blood flow to the brain gets cut off. There's always the sort of nightmare of a brain tumor, and while we wish they never happened, they can happen, and when we're evaluating children for seizures, we certainly do things starting just with a basic physical exam, but sometimes involving an MRI or a CT to make sure that a seizure is not resulting from a brain tumor. If your child has had a seizure that is something other than a simple febrile seizure, your doctor is going to want an excellent history, a complete neurologic exam looking at all the testable nerves of the body, and probably an EEG or a CT scan. Talking about causes of fever in children, this is Dr. David Hill.